Welcome back to AXP, everyone. My name is Adric, and I'm stuck in a vent. Skipping that. In the last episode, I tried vent repair in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted VR. And it did not go well because I'm still here doing it again. Also, if you don't like jump scares, well, I've got some bad news for you. Jump scare. <laughs> this is now my third attempt. After two failures last time, I kind of needed to take like a mental break. But I'm trying again, and I have the confidence that I can do it this time. Now I gotta turn you. Come on, do the, do the thing. If you're wondering the goal, you're just fixing the vent. Well, I guess that's obvious considering it's called vent repair. But the whole time, you've got Mangle trying to sneak up on you in these vents. It's awful. So that's three out of four lights. I need to get the last one, which is over here. If I remember correctly. I'm gonna get jump scared, no? Green, orange, red, blue. Green, orange, red, blue. And honestly, that's what made me stop last time. I got jump scared by Mangle. Did it in one try this time. First try on the third try. A perfect 72 degrees. Good yeah. Job. See you next time. You know, actually, no, I did do this successfully on my first try in the previous episode, and then I got here, and then I opened the gift, and it was a jump scare failure. Which is bullshit if you ask me, Freddy. It is bullshit. Your game is fucking with me. Get out of here. Stupid Freddy. No, get out. All right, now I can finally move on to vent repair part two. You're closer, Vanny. I don't like it. Let's do vent repair. Ennard! Let's ennard the level. I don't know. I was trying to make an enter pun. Didn't quite work out. Push the button. Welcome to Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rental. It has been cool. several days since last incident. Emergency That's cool. ventilation repairs may be necessary to reach the boiler room on sub basement G. We apologize for the claustrophobic accommodations of the secondary service elevator, but the You're comfort not sorry. of the main elevator Don't is Don't pretend well you are. A grade. Now, I need to keep an eye out for secrets here. I think sometimes there are secrets going down these vents. Can't remember. It's been too long since I played this in flat mode. Well, a few months, not that long, but... Nope, didn't see any secrets. Got myself a little dizzy, but I didn't Motion see any secrets. Trigger. Breaker room. Motion trigger? I don't like motion triggers. Okay, red light first, which is connected to this one. The hit bone's connected to the secondary hit bone. The hit bone's connected to the other bone. I don't well know the name of the bones. Thank you. I guess when I get to the last one, I can just push it. I don't have to follow the cable. It's the only left button. Uh, that one is right here. That one is here. That one is here. And well that. done. Sweet. I didn't see any creepy crawlies yet. Should I be keeping an eye out for them? Oh shit, light's flickering. Let's see. Oh, there he is. There's Ennard. Okay, let's do this quickly because I think he eventually does catch up to me. Uh, let's follow that cable down over to this button. And that cable goes... Oh shit, I kind of lose track of it. Goes around this way and here. Well here. done. Thank you. That was not too terrible. Oh fuck! I had to say something. I'm fine. That was just a scripted jump scare, it seems. Alright. Keeping an eye out for secrets again. Could I not just unsafely poke my head down here? This actually is making me a little nauseous. I shouldn't be doing this. Ah! Okay. It's fine. <laughs> if I miss anything, I'll just look up a guide when I'm near the end of the game. Because I want to get the perfect ending with this game. I just have to find all the tapes and all the coins. All right, cool. Gear time. Motion trigger. Secondary service oh, elevator ventilation shaft. Got this one now. And I'll grab this one too. And I'll do this one. And then this one. 
and then this one and that will bring the belt to me and then I'll put this back here grab the big one and grab the small one that's what she said that's not right there we go small one and medium well done. right there thank you I thought I did that pretty well actually am I done here I am see you later going down further oh okay I thought I saw something I could be wrong yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look up the secrets when I'm not wearing this headset. It makes it harder to look things up when you're wearing the game on your face. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean? This is getting creepy and red. I'm not very well red. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. Final level of this vent repair Motion level. trigger. Boiler room. All right. Well, I'm here. Am I the motion you're sensing? Sorry, just fixing my headset. I'm a little sweaty. Let's see, what does this button do? Ah, I see. One. Turn three. Well done. Cool. I was actually really fast. Next. Bring it on, baby. I'm on a roll. Okay, so one needs to turn. Or does it? Actually, no. Maybe I need to turn this whole affair. Like... This? Rotate again. And... Nope. Rotate one more time. Well done. <clears throat> oh, that did work. Okay, cool. I was partially just guessing. It is way too dark in here. I don't like it. It is so dark. Okay. Button. Now what's this going to be? That's just the boiler. Oh, am I done? Boiler's on, so we're done here, right? Oh, Jesus. Well done. Oh. A perfect 72 degrees. I think Ennard was in there. And I burned him alive. All right, well. Was he ever really alive? I mean, that is the question. Are these things alive or not? I mean, yeah, there's ghosts of kids inside them, but they're already dead. Continue. You can't die again, can you? Don't answer that question. I don't want to know the answer. All right, vent repair, dark mode. Activate. Mangle time. I'm more concerned about doing Ennard in dark mode. Not going to lie to you. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. Oh, right. Button. Cool. It's exactly the dialogue I needed to cheer me up right now. Button. Switch. Oh, there's no mangle this time. Oh, Jesus. That is not mangle. That's Mangle. There's two of you? Okay, good. The top is not open. I'm so scared. Turn these things off. Uh, get the smoke out of my face. Okay, now I gotta turn you. Is there a Mangle sneaking up on me somewhere? I can't hear one. Okay. Red. Orange. Green. Well, I can figure that out. Shit, which one's red? Red, orange, green, blue? Yes. And we're done. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Sweet! A perfect 72 degrees. Good job. See Thank you. you. Next time. There won't be a next time. I'm done with that one forever. But I do have to do entered one more time. Crank that. Get on the floor. Exotic beverage. Can I eat it? I can. I shouldn't, but I can. Vanny's not there. We're good. We're good. Not that it matters when she is, but it's just unsettling to think that there's something that could be behind me sometimes. Just watching me, waving at me. You know, I don't want it. Whoa. 
Welcome button. to Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. What the? It has been zero days. Oh, everything's since upside down. Emergency oh, that's messed ventilation up. repairs may be necessary to reach so that's the, the ceiling? boiler room on sub basement G. Oh, there's the light. We and that's the floor. The of the oh god, this is making me a little elevator, nauseous. But the oh, I don't like this. Elevator is hey. well above your pay Got rate. it. Now, let's get to work. I knew there was secrets in this friggin' elevator. Because I remember it was really hard for me to get them, especially when it played in flat mode. It was super difficult. Because you can't stop this. You just have to grab it as it goes by. Ah, sorry, hit my mic. There we go. I'm good. Motion trigger, breaker room. That's cool. Open the thingies. Oh, it's already open. Well, hello there, Foxy's face. No secrets in here, is there? All right. Red cable goes, yeah. That red cable goes, yeah, yeah. That red cable goes, yeah, and well then, yeah. Thank you. He's always very congratulatory. At least I never have to worry about um, not being appreciated. What the fuck are you? I gotta go fast. Okay, button, 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 button. I gotta go and hit that, and then cable, 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 hand in hand. Well done. No! Don't come near me. Spring trap? You look like spring trap. All right, cool. Next. Thank you. Next. Oh, that is so far away, I can barely see. I think it's... Please don't kill me. Okay. Got it right. <laughs> and that cable goes to this one. And that cable goes to... Uh, this one. And is there even a threat in here? Oh, yeah, there he is. Entered. Does he get closer if I just give him a second? Oh, yeah, he moves around. That's not creepy at all. Well I'm gonna, gonna push the button before you get here. And you're gonna be scripted jump scare, aren't you? <laughs> eh, bitch. <laughs> Showed him. Scared him off. All right. Going up, question mark, to the next level. I feel like I might have missed another secret, but I don't know. It's really hard to catch when they're coming by. All right, that was creepy. Just an arm. And there's Bonnie's eyes. I'd almost have to, like, if I didn't have a guide that I could just look it up, I would just do this looking at one side the whole way up, and then the front, and then the other side. One at a time, I'd focus on one, and I'd eventually get it. Okay, cool. Do that. Give Motion me the gear. trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. You'll be fine. Down here. And then that goes down here. This is really fucky upside down. Put you back here so I can grab you. Oh, no, I need the small one first. Put the big one there, small one there, and the medium one goes well here. Done. done. Look at BB over there with his eyes. Bye, BB. I hope to never see you again, BB. On to the last phase. See, another problem with trying to catch these things as they fly by quickly. Will I be able to react fast enough to, like, throw my hand <clears throat> ah, excuse me, throw my hand out and grab it? Without, like, smacking the wall in real life. So I think there's a wall near me somewhere, but I can't remember where. I think it's behind me. So I should be fine. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The first one is going to be here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, come on. Open up. Open up. I got Motion things to trigger. do. Boiler room. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Was it just one, two, three that I pushed? Is it going to be the same combo? Nope. Um, four needs to turn. Let's do that. And two needs to turn again. Or does it? Uh, three needs to turn some more. Um, not getting it. Three needs to turn. Well done. Perfect. Okay. 
Hopefully I didn't waste too much time on that. I don't know how much time I have. Okay, next one, getting ready. Let's maybe just do... Spin the whole thing. I feel like it has to spin at least twice. And then what do I need? That's not right. That's not going to work, is it? Let's turn one. Nope. One more time. Turn one. No, turn two. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not working. Turn two. Turn two. Turn one. Turn the thing. The whole thing. Turn. Did I get it? No. Well done. Okay, good. That was a bit too close for comfort. Again, I'm not sure how much time I have, but I was kind of close. What are those eyes? Okay. Just open the boiler room so I can push the button. Sweet. Burn, baby. Burn. Yeah. Is it getting hot in there for you? Yeah, it is. Well it's done. not a comfortable Comfort 72, 72 anymore, is it? Degrees. See you no. next time. Never mind. <laughs> that would have been a lot worse if I'd been looking at it. <laughs> and that's the downfall of VR horror. You can be looking away. Although, I say that, but that was actually really cute. Come back. I kind of want one. Like a bobblehead for the car, you know? Anyway. Um, yes, so they kind of fixed that problem a little bit with VR, where, oh, you did get closer. I don't like that. With the PSVR 2, they have eye tracking. So now they can tell when you're looking at something and wait for you to look at it to scare you. All right, so before I move on to the final section, which is night terrors. Oh, shit, I need to stay in dark mode. Let's go back. Night Terrors has five levels. I'll do that next time. I'm going to show you the tapes that I've found so far. Problem is, I don't fully remember where I left off. So one second while I look that up. All right, welcome back. Let's say hi to Vanny real quick, who is rapidly approaching where I'm standing. So if you don't know what we're looking at, these are tapes scattered around by the development team, and they hold secrets. I will play tapes 5 through 10. So if you don't care about this lore, you can tune out, skip to the end, whatever you want to do. If you're looking for tapes one to four, they are at the end of my video for Help Wanted episode three, after I finish playing Five Nights at Freddy's three levels. So you can skip to the end. I think it starts around 20 minutes in. So take The five. drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No, there was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just I junk. Guess. Circuit boards and things like that. Look pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. And that wasn't your cue to stop messing around with this before you got moidoid? Grab tape six, please. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy it was standing lit. in the testing Sorry. room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Hmm. Jeremy is in trouble. Jeremy I think Jeremy got possessed. Nurse when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. 
they'd been prepping me for. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Sounds like he's losing his mind, so yeah. With good reason, don't get me wrong. You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things, making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. Hmm. I thought you were going to say they needed to destroy him. <laughs> there was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. Creepy. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front of his shirt looked black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction but I don't think he knew I was there. Or did he? Tape 10, baby. I was told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. It's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here, but who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. I know where it's hiding. It's right there. Don't have to look very hard. All right. So, this VR game is cursed, and it's possessing the devs that were working on it. I've got 19 out of 30 coins and 10 out of how many tapes? 18? Not sure. But we'll continue this in the next one. And in the next episode, I'm going to do... Eh. Whoops, I could have just gone left, I suppose. Night Terrors. Flip it over there. Night Terrors, which is basically, it's not Five Nights at Freddy's 4, exactly. But it's inspired by it. So it's a little similar. You'll find out in the next one if you don't already know what it's like. I did this once a long time ago in flat mode, and I don't look forward to do this in VR. It's going to be stressful. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!